Welcome back to day 57 of 100 Days of Startup, where I, Rod Dannon, am building Prentice, where we connect startups to skill tech interns that they can hire. Um, so I'm filming later than usual, so time kind of got away from me working in bubble, and also I had to catch up on a few things, because um, in the morning, honestly, I was prime day shopping, if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, a couple of things were for the business, but... I needed some stuff, so Monday mo the morning, along with returning some stuff, was taken up. Uh, then in the afternoon, you know, I just did some email cleanup, uh, responding to different people, and then I had to go to the ortho, so that was about an hour and a half appointment. Uh, I was supposed to interview someone, but ended up that Calendly didn't send them the invite, which has been happening a lot. Um, or that, or it goes to, it goes to spam. So I know Calendly has not been consistent lately. So that ended up being skipped. Um, and then, you know, most of the late afternoon, I just ended up not even working on Bubble, but working, just answering people, doing reviews on designs, leaving feedback. And, and then, yeah, eventually I did get into Dashboard because that's part of it, but mostly we're looking at grids. And the grids part is what is really holding up the design side of the process because um, it determines how things are spaced, how things are shaped, how things are laid out on a page. And we keep going back and forth. And the designers, you know, they're frustrated. I, I hear it from them and I get it. Um, but, you know, it's like at this point, we don't know exactly what it is, but I think we have a good idea and I'm praying, praying that guy will have a final decision on that by tomorrow. Um, so we can basically unblock all the designers. But, you know, it's a big thing right now. Um, other than that kind of Figma stuff and talking to those people, uh, yeah, I, I do get back to the dashboard in Bubble. And with the latest progress, uh, I did change the layout. I added some different workflows that might have to go on in the background, such as like when you reject a intern, for example. Um, and then in some of my workflows, I realized that I had to change the data type for a few fields. So, you know, it doesn't happen all the time, but I had to do it. So that was part of it. Um, and you know, I'm still, as I deal with the grids, I'm also trying to apply it to bubble as well, since, you know, I might as well have that familiar feel for if once the businesses get transferred over to the other platform. So there's that. Um, I also ended up recreating the login page, which is also the index for the bubble app. So that looks closer to what we have now and, you know, follows the branding, follows the the grid as of whenever I made it because you know it might have changed since then uh, so I set that up and also deleted one of the pages I planned for the dashboard I was planning on having a my interns page but figured hey let me just keep things simple I only have one window for that um, so you know I'm just trying to get this this bubble thing ready um, but yeah, other than that, you know, that's what I was working on. And that's what I'm logging off at 11.20, so a little bit later than usual. But making progress. I'm ready to get into it and start getting customers again. But remember, bubble first.